continuing with the rank guides, I'm just going to go over a gameplay um, from Platinum to Diamond on what the sort of tactics were that we were doing, what we could have done to improve and how we could have perhaps played the game better, what we could have done, all about the rotations, all about dealing with gunfights. And hopefully this will help you guys that are struggling in plat um, to help you get, get out of there and get out of diamond. Now, of course, I've already covered gold to plat, which was more of a tips video. This one's going to be more of a gameplay breakdown and dealing with uh, plat lobbies and dealing with certain situations and how we can improve on them. So, of course, it all starts with the drop. We're dropping Hydro or uh, Elysium. Most of these games It's probably my favorite drops for this split. Um, and it's always nice to keep an eye on how many squads are going there. So we do notice another squad is going to Elysium, but of course we don't want to we don't want to push them too quick. We need something decent. We need we need some good loot before we head over and uh, and try and take them out. So at this point we're just trying to grab their loot. We know there's only that one squad at Elysium, obviously basing it off the uh, off the jump there. Um, and then and then we're just going to try and do what we can to sort of uh, to sort of get what we can before we're ready for a push so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to skip forward a little bit and we're just going to sort of skip through because all we're doing right now is looting and i'm like should we go for the push at this point my teammates my the jibby didn't want to push now this is this is unusual because the jibby in this game uh, was very aggressive i was ready for the push mythic was ready for the push but jibby wasn't there so we didn't want to push 2v3 you know you're immediately at a disadvantage should you uh, head into a fight with just two people versing three. So we want to maximize the best we can. And obviously, Jibby is a great defensive legend. He's got the bubble um, to really protect us should we need it. So anyway, we're just messing about with pings. Um, and then, sorry, I skipped too far ahead. So what happened is is, is we went back to looting and uh, Mythic actually calls out um, there's a squad there and starts pinging. So at this point, we need to deal with this squad. Jibby takes one down. So I'm like, okay, this is great. I'm going to try to deal what I can. And I notice one's on flesh. So I'm thinking, okay, one's down, one's on flesh. We need to get over there. I drop the octane ult because we need to push in as fast as possible. I notice this guy here is self-resing. So he's the immediate target. He's the guy we want to take out as fast as possible because he gets back up. We're immediately even again, and it's a 3v3 rather than a 2v3. So we want to get this guy taken out and have it a 3v3, sorry, a 2v3 best we can. So we're at the advantage. So all my focus is on this guy. And then obviously the Bloodhound and the Crypto are coming for me, which do take me down. I do manage to crack the Bloodhound, so I inform my teammates I've cracked him, and these guys just clean up and take them all out. So the Octane pad really came useful there. As soon as you knock someone, or as soon as you know you're going to be at that advantage, you don't want to give the other team chance to heal. You don't want to give them chance to revive. You want to get over there as fast as possible, deal with a fight, and get out of there, and, and grab the loot you need. Now, although we knew we were the only squad here, I do think we took a little while to loot that we didn't need to spend time doing. That would have been my only criticism. Uh, I think Octane, obviously, is the most picked legend at the minute, and his pad is great for pushing in these fights. As we know, there is the Rev Octane meta, which I'm personally not a fan of, but it works, and people do it, and you're going to see it a lot more the higher ranks you go up, because people need that second life. They they want that reassurance that if they push in, if they knock someone, if they deal some damage, you know, they've got another chance to, to sort of go at them. But like I said, I think we're looting too much here, so I would have cut that down. Um, so we know at this point, okay, we need to move around. Let's take the Trident. We've got it for a fast escape. We've got it if we need it, and uh, we can just stop off. I'm not sure why we were looting at this point. The thing with rank, though, however, is we were going with like a slow rotation, so we didn't need to push right into the end game. We, you know, I had one KP. Those guys had two or three each. Um, but we didn't need to go for the end game because if we're trying to hold down the end game right from the start, we're probably going to get killed. There's probably going to be a few squads that are trying to attack us and also take that position. And it's stuff you don't need. The whole idea of ranked is it's played really slow. At the minute, uh, you get some KP, you wait around, clean up at end game, and then your max KP and your best position. So, of course, it all works on placement. So you don't need to rush to the end game. Slow it down. Practice on those slow rotations. And just take your time. There's no rush. There's no immediacy to go around trying to get a 20 bomb, trying to get all the lobby killed. It's just not how it works in ranked. If you want to do that, go play pubs. So we know Hammond's going to be a busy area. Normally, I would avoid Hammond, but the ring was sort of pushing us in that direction. And Jibby wanted to head over there. And like I said, Jibby was pretty aggressive. 
um, and we were following his command. Uh, he was he was on comms. I don't think he spoke much English, but he knew what he was doing, and we have faith in him. So he wanted to push uh, like the bunker bit of, of Hammond. Um, he heard some squads fighting over there. So we're not going to leave him to go alone at this point. Obviously, we, you don't leave your teammates. The best way is to stick all together. You don't leave your teammates. I'm like, okay, let's get a high ground. If those guys come out, we're above them. If they want to take zip, we're above them. You know, we've got the high ground. We've got the better position. High ground high ground in Apex is everything. You want the height if you can. Um, obviously, you're a lot harder to shoot up here than you are on the floor if you're fighting someone. So I noticed this other squad is, is, is pulling out of bunker. So I try to get some shots on them. Um, caustic launches, gas drops down, then a blood down appears from somewhere. So Jibby's going down to push. At this point, we're like, okay, we can't have Jibby going down on his own. We need to back him up. As I said, sticking together is the best thing you can do in ranked, especially if you're, you know, random teammates together. Luckily, I know how Mythic plays. We play well together, but this Jibby was the random. Um, so we, we need to back him up. He might be confident in his skills, but 1v3 is a lot harder than a 3v3, even if you're a good player. So anyway, we're trying to deal with this squad, trying to get them taken out as fast as possible. We know they're backing up, they must be weak, so we push in behind them, try to get what we can. At this point, we see a drone attacking the same squad, so we know there's an enemy team on the other side of, of, of the bunker, um, and they're going to get sandwiched. So we have the advantage to get some easy KP here on the squad that we first start attacking. For some reason, they like to hide up in this corner. I didn't even know that was a spot. Um, they do a lot of damage to me though, so I want to bat up as soon as possible. And uh, I know Octane's got the health regen, so I'm not too worried for syringes. Now I see the squad behind at this point, so I'm immediately calling to my teammates, look, there's a squad coming behind us as well. We need to be careful. We need to watch out. And that's the thing, when you, when you get into Hammond and specifically this part, as soon as you start shooting, other squads are going to come at you. They're going to hear the fights, which is why I absolutely hate this part of the map for ranked. But... I called it, I knew there was a score coming, so that sort of immediately grabs our attention. We need to get these guys taken out as fast as possible. They send the drone in, very good push on their part. Sending the drone, trying to deal that shield damage before they attack us. I run in, Octane's pushing me, it's all kind of chaos. I push in a bit too far there, do get taken down. I probably shouldn't have pushed in as far, I should have stayed back. I just wanted to get that fight done with because I knew that other team was still behind us. At which point, Mythic tries to go for the res, but we do hear the other team. He backs up, lets Jibby get the res with a bubble. Of course, that bubble is absolutely clutch, especially with a good Gibraltar. If you're a good Gibraltar yourself, or know a good Gibraltar, definitely use them in ranked. They are so, so good at uh, just taking out, you know, the bubble when it's needed, of course, is so clutch. So this squad, of course, starts uh, trying to fight with us. I want to get my octane pad down. I want to have that sort of backup should we need it. If we need to get out of there because they've been fighting, because we're getting taken out, if another squad comes behind us, we need that escape route. So I pop that pad down and head up top just in case they want to follow, just in case they want to get out of uh, out of bunker. But we know it's a low roll as well. So there's a, there's a bit going on. Um, we just need that escape route should we get caught out. And of course, that's why Octane's got one of the highest pick rate. He's great for, for getting in and out of situations fast and, and getting your team out of uh, situations fast. Now at this point, Jibby wants to go back for the push. We heard um, the squad's fighting again. So I'm trying to grab some energy ammo here. I don't have that much. I realistically shouldn't have done that. I should have just gone straight in for the fight. I know if Mythic is dealing uh, some damage, so I go and back him up best I can. Take down the crypto, pretty easy KP there, and notice that there's probably two of them with gold. So we uh, we get that. And obviously we know they've been fighting a squad. Mythic takes them out while I'm looting. Again, I'm going for the loot too quick. This is something I need to work on. And, and the best way to improve your own gameplay is to save it to your PlayStation with a PlayStation share and just watch it back and think, what could I have done better here? How could I have handled this situation differently? And of course, I'm spending way too much time looting and I don't even need to loot. Like, there's no need for me to loot. I do get a little wary here. I hear a lifeline drone. So I'm like, okay, there's something here. There could be a team in vents. Um, it did just turn out to be a false alarm. And it was just a drone there. But it's important to keep your eye on what's going on around you and knowing sort of what's going on communicating with your team is just so so important and all sticking together is what's going to give you the biggest advantage so we're going to skip ahead a little bit um i sort of at this point we knew we had to go for the ring i heard someone though and i was like okay we hear someone 
turned out to be a lobe but mythic thought so i'm like should we go attack a mythic thought they were part of a a whole, a whole squad sorry i can't speak a whole squad um so i'm like yep yeah, okay we'll go for ring we'll position round. we'll get that position and you know the best place right now because we know there's that squad behind us is to take the top of the hill um top of the hill at, at hammond so that's immediately where we head to and we need to scope this out make sure no one's up here luckily there was no one here there was no one holding this down already but because we know there's that squad behind us we can sort of gatekeep this area and as we do that we notice someone flying in so we try to get them taken down it was only the one person um i got a lucky hit at the end and although it was only the one person they didn't have a gold res so i'm not sure where their teammates was which is why we were sort of holding down this area and checking it out we knew the ring had to come we knew there was that other team behind us because that wasn't the low but i think that was our horizon uh, so that wasn't the low we saw previously um so this is you know we're like okay well there's no rush we've got some kp we can rotate in slowly towards the end game um and we can we can sort of hold that we'll just hold this area down because the worst thing is trying to get you know you you start doing well and like we are eight squads left if we hold on a few more squads we get ridiculous amount of points more purely because of the match placement so it's important to know what's going on around you we want to hold down the area we want to make sure no one comes behind us third parties should be getting a fight so i'm just pointing out look there's people at solo we should be wary of that is there anyone else around so i'm just going to skip forward a little bit so at this point we're just keeping an eye on all the squads trying to hold down the area making sure again no one's behind us checking it all out and just holding down the area best we can before we need to make a move to the ring like i said ranked is played a lot slower than pubs and obviously the higher up you get the more placement points you're going to want now at this point we notice a, a squad a squad sort of uh resing their teammate jibby wants to push this i don't think we really needed to we had the kp like i said jibby was a pretty aggressive player and that's the hard part that you need to deal with when you're playing with randoms you either have to put your trust in them or not follow them at all but you don't want to leave your teammates all alone and pushing uh pushing a, a 1v3 situation so jibby uh, i'm not sure where this team was jibby wanted to push in see what was going on um, so of course I didn't want to leave him alone uh, being Octane as well I should be the first in and out of fights really Jibby shouldn't really be pushing I don't think he's a more defensive character um, so he, he spots the squad I want to back him up best I can so we're just going to move forward I did see sorry that was a little too far I did see a, a guy down the left that was sort of escaping I'm not sure where he came from I'm not sure if he was a part of another squad uh, Jibby was pinging someone else and then I noticed the guy on the left trying to peek around the corner so I started shooting for him. Jibby then starts shooting someone in front so we both need to focus our attention on this squad though. The guys run off. We're gonna have a better chance. Mythic was a little behind. He did have some lag spike issues um, so me and Jibby need to focus our attention on the squad try getting taken down. So again Jibby takes one down. I'm out with the launch pad. I'm straight over. I know there's only one left. It was only a duo squad left straight out and trying to get this guy down as soon as possible my teammates come in and also deal some damage and take him out and again i think we're looting a little too much here but we didn't need to but at this point we have the ring position um and because we did spend a while looting and another squad heard that fight rev tains here rev tains here uh, and we're here to push a fight jibby drops that dome like i said this dome is absolutely clutch you have a good Jibby on your team, it's definitely a great legend. Bang drops her all in, it's all kinds of chaos right now. I'm thinking we need to get out of here, I'm struggling to see with all the gas that, that's down as well. I'm thinking there's a bangle on us, there's too much gas, I can't really see what's going on. Let's back out of this, let's get a better position, better angle on the fight, which is what we want. We need all the visibility we can, we don't want to get caught out, they have the high ground as well. Mythic starts taking shots on him, he calls it out, so I immediately focus my attention on this guy because i know he's shooting mythic if he takes mythic down we're automatically at a disadvantage so i need to cover mythic while he has chance to uh position round to us again and that sort of backs them up gives us chance to heal gives chance uh mythic to to heal and um at this point i'm thinking okay we can't really push round i'm gonna head back i'm thinking of flanking round um, I'm thinking of flanking around this side, so I'll use my uh, my mouse to sort of demonstrate this. I'm thinking of flanking around the whole the whole field and coming back up to get that squad that's holding this position. My teammates point out there's no real need to. 
we're all right where we are. The ring's heading this way. We don't want them to gatekeep us. And again, it's important to know that like, I made a wrong decision here. I probably shouldn't have done that. And my teammates were right. So I head back over there um, because I don't want to cause, you know, I don't want to cause us a loss. So we all need to regroup and stick together. So we try and take this hill uh, best we can. You know, we want to, we know the rings here. We want to hold it down uh, best we can. Um, at this point, I'm not actually sure where the squad ended up running that were attacking us. I think I, they must have run around at this point and, and gone around left to Solar, perhaps, because they didn't seem to uh, didn't seem to come back. So Jibby's noticed another squad there, triple taken us, trying to deal some long range damage. I'm at this point, you know, worried. Where's that other squad? Are they going to come back from behind us? Are they going to attack us? So I'm constantly running back. Dealing shots to the other squad, you know, just trading fire, dealing some damage, nothing major. Um, and constantly coming back and checking for the flank, making sure we're not going to take out, uh, get taken out by another squad. So it's all important if two teammates are focused um, in one in one direction, make sure you check your flanks, check behind you, all that kind of good stuff. That's important. You don't want to get taken out uh, while you're too engaged in a fight. So I'm just going to skip ahead a little, it's just some damage trading. Again, I think, is that squad going to come behind us? So I head down to the bottom of the hill, uh, make sure they're not they're not trying to flank us around. We can kind of just hold the ring here. There's no immediacy to sort of push a squad or deal any uh, kills. So we're just trading damage, nothing crazy, trying to help uh, perhaps another squad out so that they get, uh, they get a kill. So obviously it lowers the amount of scores left, we get better placement points and it's a win-win for both sides. Again, I'm still checking around the flanks, making sure no one's coming. For some reason, Jibby wants to get more involved in the fight, wants to get a, a different positioning. So we uh, pad over. I don't think that was the right decision. We don't really need the KP. We could have just held down that area. Um, and of course, we, we start getting attacked by this other squad on the left. I think that's a squad that was behind us originally um, that I was keeping an eye out for. That's my best guess, at which we hear some people ziplining and across. This is a duo. We see it's a duo. The main priority now is because they're behind us, they're in the ring, they can gatekeep us, they can keep us out. We need to take them out as soon as possible. And because there is only two of them, we need to deal with this. And they're, you know, they're at the disadvantage, we have the advantage again. So we're straight focused attention onto these guys. We know the other two squads are going to be fighting each other at this point. We know that they're sort of uh, dealing with each other. So I push in, I try and get some damage. I know my teammates are with me. Octane again should be first in and out of fights. Uh, and you know, he's a very aggressive legend. One gets taken down and then we're, I'm around trying to take this blood down. Excuse the aim, uh, excuse the aim. It's, it wasn't the best, wasn't the best. And, and now at this point, the other teams heard us fighting. So we start getting pushed and pressed by another squad and that's i immediately back out of looting there i don't need it octane's got the health regen i just pop a quick bat get some shields somehow this squad's got behind us i'm not sure where they came from i don't know how they got there but they appeared out of somewhere and they did take me down mythic's trying to hold out the uh the thing i said look i'm gonna try go for the self res jibby's trying to hold out then this other squad gets involved jibby gets triple take it's all kinds of chaos this is the only problem when you're in endgame it's the only problem when you're in game. As soon as the two squads start fighting, the other squad is going to third party. I try getting some form of cover to pop this self res because I think, okay, everyone's down. We may as well go for it. We may as well try to do uh, what we can. Somehow another squad gets taken out. I'm not even sure. It was all kinds of madness right now. All kinds of madness right now. So I managed to pop this cell for us some. I think the Jibby has sort of covered the noise of that. Mythic's trying to pop his, and then at which point the Horizon starts going over to him. Um, I managed to take the Horizon down. Mythic gets taken down immediately as he gets back up. The other squads, the last squad's now pushing me. It's a 2v1. I don't have much chance. I'm in the center of them without any cover. Now, Although we lost, we still got some good KP, we still got some good placement, so don't always take it as a negative coming second. It can be infuriating, but, you know, how could we have dealt with this situation better? Really, I wouldn't have pushed out, I would have held down the ground when Jibby pushed out, like back here, really, I would have just held this down. I don't think we needed to, I don't think we needed to push that. We had max KP already, it was just about holding down the position the best we could, really, and I think that's where we went wrong, but... I hope this sort I know it's been a slightly different video. I know it's been more of an analysis. I hope it's been useful for some of you guys, though. 
like I say, ranked is played a little slower. You've got to think about those rotations, think about holding down those positions. Not immediately going for the end game and, and going for the kills. So I hope this has helped you. I know it's been a little different, like I say, but if it has helped you, please let me know in the comments below. I'd really appreciate it. But for now, guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.